Hi, good evening guys. This is Lorenzo again and I'm going to be doing uh, another discussion on pathology. Today's topic will be cellular injury and cellular death. And what the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, the last time we talked about disease and the basic uh, definition of pathology. And to reiterate, the definition of disease is basically it's a deviation from the structure and function of that body from a, from a specific range. So everything starts within a cell, right? So when we define a cell, we ask ourselves, what is a cell? So a cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life. And within a cell, we have different organelles. We have examples um, including uh, Golgi apparatus, the cytoplasm, the lysosomes, the mitochondria, the nucleolus, the nucleus, and the endoplasmic reticulum. These are the major um, organelles within a cell. And the main, the main thing that we keep in consideration is homeostasis. Basically, in the, within the body and within every single cell, we, there needs to be the maintenance of homeostasis. And homeostasis is nothing but the ability of an organism or a cell to maintain internal equilibrium by adjusting its physiological processes. And whenever we have uh, we have home, normal cell which goes to, uh, which goes through uh, maintains homeostasis. So, like in, in case if a cell go, um, experiences stress or a, or an increase in demand of a particular product the cell will then undergo adaptation, right? It, and within uh, adaptation, uh, it can maintain the, that homeostasis. Um, but uh, in, ca in case of in uh, injurious stimuli, or really, really uh, devastating injurious stimuli, it can cause cell injury and even cell death. So let's talk about cellular adaptations. What is cellular adaptations? It's the physiological and morphological changes in a cell in response to an excessive physiologic stress or pathologic stimuli. And there are different types of cellular, uh, cellular adaptations. We have atrophy, we have hypertrophy, we have hyperplasia, and we have metaplasia. What is atrophy? Atrophy is an adaptive response in which there is a decrease in the size and function of the cells. An example of, um, of atrophy is testicular atrophy. An example, and another type is hypertrophy. What is hypertrophy? Hypertrophy is an adaptive, adaptive response in which there is an increase in the size and function of the cell. An, an example of hypertrophy is cardiac hypertrophy. Right? Hyperplasia. What is hyperplasia? It is an increase in the number of cells in an organ or tissue, which may be, which may then have um, an increased volume. An example is endometrial hyperplasia, which is a physiological hyperplasia. Another example of hyperplasia is prostatic, uh, prostatic hyperplasia, which is pathological. And then we have hyper metaplasia. Metaplasia is basically a reversible change in which one adult cell type is replaced by another adult cell type. An example of this is metaplasia of the laryngeal respiratory epithelium. epithelium. Example, uh, a normal person, we have laryngeal respiratory, uh, respiratory epithelium, right? In case if a person smokes, that uh, epithelium will then become squamous epithelium, as uh, because it usually it's supposed to be stratified, but then becomes squamous. And if when a person stops smoking, it uh, allows the epith respiratory epithelium to develop again, the stratified epithelium. Right. Now let's since we talked about that, let's talk about cell injury. What is cell injury? Cell injury is basically the sequence of events that follows when the limits of of adaptive response to a stimulus are exceeded or when adaptation is not possible, um, this is termed as cell injury. And there's two types of cell injury. We have reversible cell injury and we have irreversible cell injury. Reversible cell injury is basically is affected when cells recover from the injury, when they can recover from it. Irreversible cell injury is when the stimulus persists or is severe enough from the beginning that the cell reaches a point of no return and suffers irreversible cell injury and eventually, of course, uh, cell death. So we have different steps here, right? We have normal cell, and then we have adaptation, then we have reversible uh, injury, and then we even have irreversible injury. And then if it's not stopped and unhindered, it becomes cell death. Now, you have to remember that in between reversible and irreversible cell injury, we have, a, we have a, basically a, a region where it switches. And this is called the point of no return, when reversible becomes irreversible. And once it's irreversible, there's nothing you can stop it. Um, for cell death, there is two types of cell death. There is two types of morphological patterns. You have necrosis and apoptosis. The main difference is that necrosis is the spectrum of morphological changes that follow cell death 
in living tissue, largely resulting from the progressive degradative action of enzymes on the lethally injured cells. Apoptosis is basically a planned or programmed cell death. An example, you have red blood cell, reticulocyte, or um, erythrocyte, I mean. The lifespan of a red blood cell is usually 120 days. After it passes that, that red blood cell becomes senescent, and it as because basically it's old. Once it reaches that senescent stage, the body will actually tell the red red blood cell to kill itself, apoptose, or or, or um, cellular suicide, basically, and it dies. These are the examples. Um, an example. Let's talk about the causes of cell injury. We have hypoxia. We have physical agents, chemical agents, infectious agents, immunological reactions, nutritional imbalances, and genetic derangements. Hypoxia, hypoxia is basically inadequate oxygenation of the tissues. The causes of hypoxia is ischemia, which is basically decreased arterial blood flow to the tissues as a result of obstruction of arterial blood flow by atherosclerosis or thrombi or due to decreased cardiac output. Or another type is in, it's due to inadequate oxygenation of the blood Due to cardiorespiratory failure, another type is loss of oxygen carrying capacity of blood, which is anemia, and another type is carbon monoxide poisoning. And these are the causes of cell death. Um, so that covers the lesson for the day. Um, until next time, and uh, thank you very much. Join me again for another lesson. Thanks.